Hello everyone, we have another Sundance review for you today. And this one was one of our absolute favorites. It was such a pleasant surprise at Sundance. It's like a thriller, mystery, science fiction. There's twists and turns all over the place. Total mind trip. Absolutely agree, but you also forgot to say what it was. Oh yeah, the movie is called <laughs> What's Inside. Yes, absolutely. And this review could honestly be summed up in one word. Fun, 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 fun! <laughs> Making his feature film debut, I believe this was the biggest sale to come out of Sundance with Netflix buying it for $17 million. Whoa. Yes. Cha-ching. Uh, Yvette, why don't you give people a taste of what this film is about without giving really anything away? Because you don't want to give anything away with this. I'm going to try so hard because it's really, it's going to be difficult. Okay, so What's Inside is a story about a group of like college age friends who are reunited at this like mansion, large estate. One of them is getting married. So I guess we can call it like a bachelor party, but it's like him and all his friends hanging out the night before his wedding. When an estranged friend shows up at the party with a mysterious suitcase, things happen. Yeah, rivalries and, and old romances flare, and it turns the night into the most intense game of their lives. Yeah. Intense is the keyword. Yeah, and the name of the film is called It's What's Inside, and it's really what's inside that suitcase that really sets into motion the idea to play this game. And the game, without giving any details away, it opens Pandora's box, causing couples to kind of reveal their inner secrets and desires. And it's not surprising, I would say, that Netflix wanted this film. They struck a deal with Ryan Johnson for Knives Out sequels, and Ryan Johnson was exactly the vibes I was getting from, from this movie. He weaves these tightly wound, intricate thrillers, and Hardin does the same. It's What's Inside is like Knives Out on speed. It's giving like bodies, bodies, bodies on LSD. Right. Like it's kind of like the big chill on cocaine. Or like that movie. Do you remember that movie, The Invitation? Mm. It's like The Invitation, but on ecstasy. It's like Clue on... Mushrooms. Yeah. It's like a fun <laughs> mystery movie on some form of drug. It's so fun. It's What's Inside is bursting with this untamed energy and excitement. I actually saw this on the same theater. Uh, we saw this on the same theater of Oscar Expert and Brother Bro. And I almost got to meet them, but then we didn't, I didn't get to meet them. But it was so close. Well, I saw this tweet from Brother Bro where he refers to the movie as a pinball machine. And I think that's perfectly embodies the energy this movie has. We are like a pinball in this intricately designed table, you know, bouncing off various objects surrounded by flashing lights and sound. Was yeah, it? that's a good metaphor because the movie is like a pinball machine. Like yeah. the movie is just like, I it, can I say all over the place? It's not, it's not all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's spontaneous. Yeah. You don't know where it's going and it's mm. exciting and it's fun. And I love the lighting in this film too, as well as the location. I thought, they really mm -hmm. served the, the film really well. Mm -hmm. The film takes place entirely at night at this very large estate. So, you know, they use a lot of colors to give, you know, the production design of this estate a very spooky, mm -hmm. like fun house feel. Yeah. I honestly, I was getting very Beetlejuice vibes. I've never seen Beetlejuice. First time watching? First time watching. <laughs> but I will say that sure. you're right about the lighting. There's like all these rooms in this mansion that have like intricate lighting and like different walls and like, I think there's one that has like mirrors, like a literal fun house. It's a very interesting environment, it uh, adds. And the story of this is very intricate. It's an intricate web and the story's pacing is fast and twists are like nonstop. It almost becomes dizzying. Like oh. there should be a warning with this film that says may break brain because I, I think this film has that ability. I've actually seen some criticisms claiming that the film became too confusing, like to enjoy. Oh really? But the reason why it worked for me is because I felt like it played into the comedy a lot. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the movie is very aware of itself. It knows that it's putting a lot on your plate and it almost has fun with that. The game within the film is getting so out of hand, it gets so out of control and you're getting just as mixed up as the characters are. It's frustrating, but it's intentional, I think. And these characters don't have time to catch a breath. And I don't think the filmmaker wants you to either. Yeah, the filmmaker wants you to feel just as disoriented 
as all the characters feel. And it works. Like, he really puts you in their shoes sometimes. And I don't think it was too much to make sense. It made complete sense to me. But the beauty of it is that there's so much going on at once that I was thinking about this movie for days after we saw it. And I was remembering things that, like, my brain absorbed subconsciously and it was like coming out later and I was remembering all these little Easter eggs in the story and I was like Ryan do you remember this and this and this that's why this happened so it would be a great movie to watch a second time or even a third time it would be so fun I give the editing here a lot of credit because it's very flashy it's flashy AF but it keeps that ball rolling at hyper speed. I think the concept opens the door for a lot of fun performances in the film. The actors are really great. They're actually faced with, I'll just say an acting challenge in this film, but they all pull it off magnificently and it's hilarious and it's fun and they all are all very charismatic and they play their roles really well. Ultimately, I wouldn't say the film is like really saying anything incredibly important? I guess you can make the argument that it's saying a little bit about perhaps the superficiality that, you know, surrounds social media posts and going viral or how many likes you get or how many followers you have and things like that. I guess it's saying something, but I think overall this movie is meant to be just a blast, just to be fun. It's a big party and there's a lot of like gossip. So if you're into like knowing the cheese man, like this movie has a lot of cheese man. That's true. <laughs> the ending is something, it's just a very minor thing, but there's like a final mic drop moment at the end. I, I think there could have been a better way to end it. Actually, Yvette thought of an ending that I preferred even more. So mm-hmm. someone remind me in the comments, if you watch this video after the film gets releases, I'll share it in the comment below. Yeah, the movie is as fun as playing a party game. It's a blast, it's clever, it's a mine bending good time. I actually considered a nine for this, but I wanted to leave some room because I think this might just be like the tip of the iceberg of what Greg Harden's potential is. So I'm going to go with a very strong eight. Yvette? I really like this movie. I think I wouldn't change a thing except for maybe the ending and maybe the title. (laughs) Oh yeah, the title. It doesn't sound like a memorable title. Like how are you going to remember that? It doesn't roll off the tongue. It doesn't. I, I think that, yeah, this director has a lot of potential to create a lot of like great films that we're going to have a blast watching. I think I'm going to go with an 8.5. Can't do it for The rules were so strict here. Can't do 8.5s. <laughs> Let's do a hefty 8. Hefty, so make the eight bigger. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. It's What's Inside will hopefully be released with a new title by Netflix. I'm sure. <laughs> it might actually. <laughs> and I'm sure following it's kind of showing at South by. I'm guessing sometime during the summer it's gonna be released, but let me know if this is a film that you saw already and you liked, or if it's a film that you're excited for. Also comment your favorite dinner party mystery below. Follow me on Litterboxd or Twitter. Links in the bio. Thanks for watching. And until (laughs) next time, we'll see you at the Oscars.